Hey, this is Daniel from Adorama. I'm here in my studio in New York City with Cadence, and I wanna show you guys kind of a quick portrait setup. This is ideal for something like where you have to go on location and shoot, let's say, corporate portraits. It allows you to keep a really small footprint, be able to work with a variety of different uh, types of people, and get in and out really quickly. So what I've got here is, I'm just using a C-stand. I mean, you could use any kind of stand that you have, but I find a C-stand works really well for this. And I've actually got my pro photo set up. I have a B2, I've got two heads, right? I've got my, my main light here, which is basically the key light on their face. And then I've got a secondary light underneath and I'm doing basically clamshell lighting. And because I'm in the Profoto B2, which has uh, you know two separate channels, I can dial this up and down depending on who's in front of me. If I want to make the light flatter on somebody because let's say they're, they're a little bit older or I wanna minimize that, I can increase the power of the bottom light. If I'm shooting, let's say, somebody who has more of a rugged look or I wanna go for like a more chiseled face, I can lower this power to add more shadow. So this is gonna allow me to more so than using, let's say, just a reflector, it's going to allow me to really control that ratio of light nicely. Super simple, right here on one stand, and, I, and actually, in this case, because it's battery powered, I could pick the whole thing up and just move it around if I needed to. Secondly, I have a light in the background. This could be anything. I just have a Profoto B1, that's what I have. Uh, it's got a grid on there. You could use a speed light for this or any other extra light that you have. All I'm doing is throwing light on the background. You, in this case, I wanted to give a, put a grid on it because I have that and give a nice little circle of light. If you wanted to just evenly light the background, you could just hit it with a regular bare head. I've got a roll of seamless paper here, just a, a four foot uh, roll of uh, Savage. This is gray, it could be any color again, depending on what you're doing. You could also use a wall in a conference room or something if you wanna go for even more simple or one of those pop-up backgrounds that you could easily transport by yourself. So let me just walk through how this works. Essentially, we've got our lights in place. First thing you wanna do when you get in there is you wanna get everything in place, you wanna do your metering, maybe have somebody stand in before you get one of your subjects in front of you. You don't want them to have to wait for you, right? We get our, our ratio pretty even here. We've got our background lit up, everything's good. When somebody steps in, you're gonna do a shot of them. You're gonna take a quick look at it, whether you're tethered or you look on the back of the camera. Then you're gonna adjust your bottom light here to give you the ratio that you want, either flatter light or more, more deep shadows by turning the power up or down here. Then you can shoot a series of photos. When you're done with that person, you know, say, hey, thank you, have the next person come in, and you can just keep going like that all day. Nice. Cool, one other thing I should mention here is that, again, through the video camera, you can probably see all this light in this space, but the first thing I did when I came in here is I set the exposure on my camera so that none of the ambient light would affect that. That's gonna be important if you're in an office where they tend to have terrible fluorescent lights and stuff, you wanna kill all that light. So make sure you're setting your camera at you know, a, a, a closed down enough aperture, a low enough ISO, and a fast enough shutter speed so you get rid of all the ambient light. The very first frame that you shoot in that space should be a black frame. So this is pretty simple. And again, you can change it up as much as you need to, throw gels on it, adjust the ratio here. It's just a really basic lighting kit to kind of keep in your mind when you come in to shoot corporate portraits. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time on set.